In this uh, Rhino tutorial, we'll learn how to make a earring like this. Um, let's get started. So, uh, I'll start using the front or right view, doesn't really matter. And I'll draw a simple curve. This shape is not very, very important. You'll see why in a second, because we'll get rid of it. It is important, but not. Uh, we won't see it visually. We'll see its volume. You'll see. So I could just go like this. Right click to end. Uh, you could change a little bit the design if you want. So it's a little bit more like uh, fat on the bottom. And then we can go revolve. So revolve is like turning something on the lathe. Start zero. Hold shift and enter and enter so now we have this shape Control shift e and if i want to draw on this surface there's a tool called curve freeform interpolate on surface it's very neat it means that you drop a point so i'll go maybe at the top and the second point will always stick to the surface you see so the second point, I'll drop it here, just before it snap, and then you can tell me, tell him how many turns. I usually just right click by default, and now I don't need the surface anymore, so I can get rid of the surface. That's okay. It's telling me that there's no more recording, and I don't need this one anymore. So the only thing I need is this, and here I'll do a pipe to give it thickness. So, the beginning of the pipe, actually, I'll make it quite thin. You'll see why. Oops, sorry. Uh, let me redo the pipe. Voila. I'll press Alt, so it's really thin. Something like this. The second piece will be quite thin, too. So, press Alt so you don't snap. Voila. And here we want something more common. So it's going to go thin to the man. And here maybe it's better to type uh, the diameter that you want. So let's try uh, point 0.1 or 15 actually. And let's try another point 0.15 here. Somewhere here. So we go thin to thick. And we'll go point 0.15. Enter, enter. So you see, now it went from very thin. Uh, I could have put this one here. To uh, here, I like it. To get a, a few copy of this, we can select uh, the pipe and go array polar. Polar means on an angle, a circular copy. Uh, center zero, number of item six. Enter. So zero to three sixty. Enter. But you should not have to change this. Voila. So now we've got the earring. Maybe we could have put even eight. Let's redo it. Um, right click, zero, eight, enter, enter. So it's 360 and 360. Uh, and to finalize the design, uh, we could do a, a little cylinder at the top. So CYL, uh, zero, whole. Uh, press all so you don't snap and then you want the height so it'll be very very little like this then we can move it up and as long as they touch you don't even have to do boolean difference uh, the 3d print will melt them so i think it would look nicer if it's a hair wider voila and to attach uh, the pin, uh, you could go torus uh, and just eyeball a torus, it's fine. That's maybe a bit big. Uh, you have to make sure that the diameter is uh, works with your printer. And we could Boolean trim this if we want to do a really good job. We could go uh, Boolean difference from here with this. Uh, no, what I want here, 
I want to. I'll leave it. We can do three many things. I, you could just scale it in. It's not that I don't want to show you. I just want to keep the design very simple. Um, voila. So now, if we look in uh, rendered, we've got it. Um, 